Hello, Andy Eater fans. Michael O'Sullivan standing alongside Paul Smolinski, head coach of the UC Irvine men's golf team. As we roll out the season preview for the 2016-17 campaign. And coaches, we've talked the last couple of years, you guys you know, kind of have a season with two segments to it. And the first one gets going in the fall, in October. You know, I'm looking at some of the invites here. One that definitely sticks out, the Princeville Mackay Invitational, where you'll go to Hawaii for in October. Yeah, that definitely is the highlight of our fall segment. And, uh, one the guys are, are always looking forward to. Um, seems like we, we get to Hawaii every other year, and so uh, you know, after not being there last year, I think the guys will be fired up and, and ready for that trip. Yeah, also Halloween during that, that invitation, right. just a fun fact. Uh, and that goes through November 1st, and then you get that break. You'll come back to things in February. And, you know, as I look up and down, you know, the kind of the spring schedule here, one that really stands out, that ASU Thunderbird Invitational where you go to Tempe, Arizona in the desert for Yeah, we haven't been to Tempe for a few years, and that's definitely a, a uh, really good tournament with a strong field and one that we'll have to play well in to, to have a decent finish. And, um, and one that, that I hope the guys will be excited for. None of the guys on this year's team have played in that event, so it'll be a new event, a new tournament for them. But hopefully by that point in the season, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, you've got a couple weeks after that to prepare for the Western Intercollegiate event, and that's going to be in Santa Cruz, so you'll go up north of the state, but that's another loaded field as well. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's been probably the strongest field we've played in over the last few years, and um, you know, definitely another big test for us as far as you know, how we stack up against against some of the, the big teams in this part of the country. And, uh, and Pasa Tempo is just a great golf course, and we always look forward to going up there. Yeah, so the ASU, the Western, I mean, that'll certainly get you prepared for these, these latter two tournaments to end the regular season. you got the Cal Poly shootout, so you go to the Arroyo Grande there for that, and a lot of big West teams obviously will be involved in that one before you get prepared for the, the championships at Santa Barbara. Yeah, the golf course that Cal Poly hosts at is one where we won conference uh, two years ago, and um, so we've got some good memories there and, and excited to get back up there and, and see that. And we'll see some of the Big West teams there. It'll be kind of a preview for, for conference. And, and obviously, you know, the, the season for us culminates with the conference championship. And, and we want to be in top form. You know, that event. Yeah, and as you were saying, you know, before we started rolling here, you're going to see a lot of conference foes throughout the regular season, the fall and the spring. But the Riverside won the championship last year. What do you expect now of the conference as a whole this season? You know, I think Riverside last year was seated number six and ended up winning wow. the event. And so that's what I see with this conference is just a lot of parity. And, and I think that uh, I'm not sure that this year we're going to have any one team that stands out above the rest. And, and I think that it's going to be the kind of year where anybody can win on any, any given week. And so with our conference championship was being a two-day, three-day event uh, this year. I think anything can happen. So you know, our, our goal is to be prepared and be ready to go for that. Hopefully with um, some of the stronger events that we, we play leading up to that, our guys will be prepared and excited and ready to play golf. We have a lot of experience coming back this year for the roster. I mean, David Kim, who I know missed some time last year, but Jonathan Young as well. You only had one senior a year ago. So I know you got to be you know, looking forward to the foundation you're coming back. Yeah, it's an exciting time. Always uh, looking forward to the year. but. We really have a good group of guys, and, and like you said, with just one senior graduating last year, and we'll have just one senior this year with Ryan Shin, uh, right. and then a bunch of guys that have a lot of experience, and uh, I think our sport's no different than most, and the, the experience factor it definitely becomes a big one at some point, and uh, with, with most of our players having some, some tournament experience, uh, I think we're going to be in for a good year. Well, we'll get going with the Nick Wadney invite in Fresno. That's in early October, and you stretch all the way through May. So it is really a marathon this golf season, not a sprint. But, Coach, uh, thanks so much for taking some time with us. Good luck this season. Thanks, Michael. See you next time, Andy, your fans.